Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy's Mini Vlogmas number eight. We have the candle going, we've got the wine pulled, we've got the coffee pulled out. We're ready for a good dive of chocolate anytime, thanks to Quilty Mom, Trish and Alex. We are going to try to do a mystery Ipsy bag that I got knocked over. Alrighty, so put your seatbelts on, we're going to try to get through this fast. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my mini Vlogmas number eight. We're going to start and show you the ugly Christmas sweater of the day. Oh, this is the fun part. It's getting these out. So I think I've got Rudolph on today. He's wearing sunglasses because his nose is so bright. He's got a green scarf here. We've got some uh, balls here that don't make any noise. So yeah, so just another fun ugly sweater. So today let's get right into the wine first. Okay, let's do the coffee first. Alrighty, so the coffee I pulled yesterday was caribou coffee. I do like caribou coffee. Um, I know a lot of people out here have Starbucks and Starbucks to me is really strong. I love Dunkin' Donuts growing up on the East Coast. We've only got a few around here. So I did kind of have to learn new coffees. And uh, the caribou is a nice one. They do have some strong ones. This one was nice and mild. It was a great way to start the day. The coffee that I pulled from my Kerrig, 24 cups of coffee, is a breakfast blend from Green Mountain. So it looks like another great one. It's a light roast coffee, so another great one to have tomorrow morning. The wine that I picked is a Pinot Noir. It's from First Steed. Um, it's, it says it's a California selection, but I, I think it's really in, in Oregon. Um, so maybe they bottle it in California. Pinot Noir, it's 2020. All right. Yes. Yeah, so when I Google first or fire steed, um, they are in Oregon. So, so the bottling must be in California. But you know, one thing that's great about an Oregon winery is one of my new subscribers, Allie, Allie Bo. She and her husband have something to do with Willamette Valley Vineyards in Oregon, so I will have to check out their website someday. Alrighty, so this is a Pinot Noir. So let's uh, pour this out. It is, it's not like a bright red. I don't know if the color is going to show up, but it's a ruby kind of red. And of course I'm wearing I do yoga. Just kidding. I drink wine in yoga pants. Though, you know, I did buy a couple of months ago and I haven't even played it yet. Yoga for senior citizens. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to, once I get going again, I think I'm going to have to do that. So anyway. Oh, this smells good. So, I mean, it's, I smell earthy notes like maybe oak and cedar. I smell like cherries cranberries it really smells smells nice so anyway let's put this up here get it out of the way ready for my sip of the day so cheers everybody happy mini vlogmas that smells good you know it's dry but not real real dry again to me, the flavor happens when, when I go to swallow it. It does have um, some acid in it. Uh, so, yeah, so as I start to swallow, my mouth starts to watering and the flavors just seem to come alive. I'm so glad that COVID did not affect my taste or my smell. Or if it did, you know, maybe it's stronger than that. But, yeah, it just smells nice. It smells nice. The cranberry gives it a little bit of tartness, but the cherry kind of gives it back of that sweetness. 
and then the earthy notes just kind of give it all balance it's got some tannins in it that make it a little dry but it just seems perfect Alrighty, so let's do my October. This was a mystery bag. I think it was a glam mystery bag. It's really nice and sparkly here. Some things that we take. You know, I should have taken these out of the packages. So let me take these out of the packages. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back. So again, this one, it was a mystery glam bag. Um, it said the value was over $200, and it was $30 when they had those mystery bag sales back in October. So this is a real pretty bag. It's nice and sparkly. If you were just going to maybe use a quick little evening bag just to carry your, your keys, maybe a cell phone, clean emergency Kleenex. Yeah, you always need an emergency Kleenex this time of year. And uh, yeah, so it's just really cute. It's got the Ipsy logo inside. It's got the Ipsy here. And then on the back of this, it's got like a coin or something, 10. So maybe this was a 10 year anniversary or something, but just a really cute bag. The first thing that I got in there was Christoph Robin. I love Christoph Robin. This is a leave-in conditioner. It's sandalwood. It does have a seal on it, so I can't share the smell with you, but love Christoph Robin. This has a $43 value. Next, we have Murad. It's a sensitive skin soothing serum or yeah soothing serum for hydration murad we all know is a kind of expensive brand too or mid expensive this is a 65 dollar value next we have sonage it's a sea shield smart serum and this has a 48 dollar value so if i was using these because we all know hashtag nancy has no idea do I put on this the C serum and then I put on this and then moisturizer or do I do this then this and moisturizer or do I not mix these two at all help please alrighty so next and I've seen this uh, I've got this probably in my um, glossy box or maybe it'll look fantastic I'm going to totally mutilate the name it's Il Iliamsqua maybe beyond liquid highlighter this has a $35 value and it does have like a little um like a wax seal or something tip right there but I'm thinking the color of this is maybe the color of that like a kind of coppery color so you know I haven't figured out highlighters and bronzers and contours yet so this is uh gonna end up in the giveaway over there but this looks like it really might make a nice little eyeshadow as well unless you know how to really use your highlighter and then the last thing we got and did i say that had a 35 dollar value and next we have this complex culture that uh, kind of rose quartz guastone or something like that and i know that these are supposed to be good and some people are really good about using this. I think you're supposed to kind of go like this and kind of brush it up against your face and out. So maybe help lift tone, maybe help drain some glands and things that are in there. But I know me, I know I'm not going to use it. This has a $28 value. So this is going to be in the giveaway over there. So yeah, so everything in my mystery glam bag. Uh, was uh, $219 and I paid $30 so it was a really it's a nice value and I know I have three things that I'm going to use and I'm excited because I get to add some more things to the giveaway yeah so I'll, remember I got this giveaway going behind me that I'm trying to add I've got a few more days that I want to add to it and then maybe in between because I've already got my next uh, wine advent calendar behind me so maybe in between there is when we will uh, do the drawing we'll see how many names we have and then um, also I got an add-on when I did that mystery bag so for $12 I got this Grace and Stella these eye masks I love using eye mask there's 12 pairs in here so this has a value of $35 and then I also got this Grace and Stella eye cream this had a value of $30. So again, $65, I paid $12 for. I have got quite a few eye creams lately. So we know that this is gonna go in the giveaway. And I do have quite a few eye patches, but I love these ones. So I think I will take them out. So whoever wins this, 
there's only going to be six patches in here because I'm going to take six and then I will saw split this. So six will go in the giveaway and six will be for me. So yeah, so I hope this went short and because I know a lot of people are doing blackness and just regular things and your life and work and house cleaning. It doesn't end, does it? And shopping and decorating and just wanting to find a balance in your life and be able to relax is so important. So I'm going to close. Oh yeah, I have to have my, I almost forgot, two nights in a row. Having my Godiva chocolate. Oh my gosh, goodness. So this is what's left in here. And, you know, I'm going to take this little one that's upside down because he might have his feelings hurt and he's hiding. So we're going to have him and a little sip of wine. <laughs> this is caramel. Nice, soft, silky smooth, buttery caramel. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm, I'm not even going to have any wine with this. I'm just going to enjoy this bad boy. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I hope you give these videos a uh, thumbs up. And I am so sorry that I am so slow at responding. Um, but I am going to really try to uh, try to catch up. So anyway, I hope you guys go out. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for Blackness number nine. Alrighty. Bye-bye, everyone. Love you guys. Bye-bye.